Eh, sotto di lei è un colombiano vicino di Antenna Galaxy, sotto di Sky Watcher Virtuoso, quando è un colombiano di SV705 C, Planet Air Camera, toccato a molto su Indian View, in the Galaxy, eh, these are two colliding galaxies in the southern part of the sky, which is really good for me at the moment, which uh, like uh, it's reachable for me. And uh, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to be imaging at f2.5 focal ratio with the 0.5 times focal reducer. And we'll see what we capture with a simple altas mount. Uh, these are the antenna galaxies, are two colliding galaxies. They are 62 million light years away. And it's going to be fun imaging at f2.5 because they have like collision lanes coming out of them. So we will see. If we'll be able to get them out with the fast setup, because with the with normal setup it's very difficult in light pollution areas to get those those uh, collision lanes out. So the galaxies themselves are not not very dim, so uh, it will be easy. But those those lanes, yes, they're difficult in light pollution. Preparing for some astrophotography with the virtuoso tonight. I have everything set up. Of the laptop, the USB ports. I have this kind of wall to block the wind that's coming from the back. Of the power adapter, <laughs> the tripod, and the virtuoso. I cleaned the mirrors today as well. It's very clean at the moment. I'm using. The SV Bone SV 705C, which is a planetary camera, to get a zoomed in view. And basically, I have everything set up. So, when it gets dark, it will be easy to, to do the next. Next, I need to focus because the focus is slightly off at the moment. So, we need to focus when it gets dark. And now we wait for it to get dark. Okay, it got dark now, and let's start the alignment. I'm gonna use Arcturus and Spica. They are the best stars for me now to me to align with. And as the telescope is turning, to be sure that, and make sure that that is the telescope is turning. It's not catching on anything, like grabbing in wires and stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna set shark clip settings, the plate solve to 375mm, it's set up, okay. So I can plate solve. I don't have Wi-Fi, I'm gonna do it manually. Mala Arcturus There's there's wind today. Always always wind here. When clear skies it's windy always. And basically you have to move until it's close to one to zero degrees. And it's tricky sometimes because sometimes it's the opposite of that word to what you are doing. I didn't point it uh, good to Polaris, which is why it is so off at the moment. Normally, it's not this much far from the from the star, but uh, Polaris is, is obscured at the moment. I cannot see it, so I can only guess where I'm pointing when I when I level the mount. 
So that's why it's not... When I'm on the side of the roof of the house, I'm, it's not accurate. Because I cannot see all eyes. Okay, I can see Arcturus now. Good. And the focus is excellent as well, which is good, because <laughs> I took flat frames already, and I have to readjust if it's not. Alright, as you can see, very close to zero. Okay, let's go to speaker. And now it should be closer. Because in the second star it will be closer. Yes, you see, it's one degree off. So much better than the, than the last one. And increase speed, so you don't have to move forever. Increase the speed by, or slow the speed by these two buttons here. I went the wrong way, as you can see. <laughs> Looks like I went the wrong way again. Sometimes it's hard to see where you're going. Seven. Okay, this is the right way. Still not on the screen. be yes okay it's here okay this is speaker try to get it as centered as you can it doesn't have to have to be perfect centered as long as it's in the central region it's okay And uh, okay, now we're ready to go to the antennas galaxies. Okay, the antenna galaxies are in GC4039. Okay, now we play it solve again. Okay, 0 0.6 degrees off. Now it's guesswork again. <laughs> I don't know why shark cap is like this. Sometimes it tells you where to move, like up and left or down or right. But most of the time it doesn't tell you. It's annoying. They should make it, it tells you every time. Because when it, when it does, you are much more accurate to where you're pointing. Maybe something for sh for Robin to fix okay we are on target as you can see 0 0.05 degrees we're pretty much centered and now I'm gonna wait for it to get proper dark because at the moment it's dusk it's like 15 minutes away from dark so I can pro image properly okay now I, I took some exposures, it's, uh, the galaxies are here, and they are fairly dim galaxies, so even though we are using a reducer, it will still be challenging to get a good image. And we just let it stack for some time. I set the filter for it so it will reject uh, trail stars. I set it to 6.5. As you can see, it already rejected four. It rejected two more before I yes, here. It's better to reject frames than to add them and mess up your image. Now 
and this is where I like live sticking you can see the details appearing instantly you don't have to wait for capturing the images and then stacking them after I have some tilt in the optical train that I can see this side this side the stars are messed up I don't know why then the side are normal it's okay this but the other side is much much more distorted I have some tilt or something I think in the focuser because the focuser is not as you know is not so good on the virtuoso so to be expected is the weak point of the telescope and tonight I have a lot of light pollution as you can see the image is very white because what I am imaging at the moment I'm imaging in the light pollution, so that's why the result is not being so good. Is this uh, 31 minutes in at the moment? Um, as you can see, these are the antenna galaxies. Here, there's a lot of light pollution, but when you stretch it. It looks like this at the moment, this data. So for 30 minutes we can already see the tidal lanes here, the collision lanes going out, which is are very hard to capture from, from my light polluted skies at least. And I'm using two second exposures and 350 gain and 20 offset. Um, uh, the reason why I'm using such low exposure is uh, it's a bit windy, so I, if I use longer exposure, I will be rejecting a lot of frames and wasting a lot of time, which I, I don't have a lot of time, because right now the sky is getting dark really late and I have to pack up before uh, due to work, so I need the most imaging time I can get. And uh, that's it. The more you leave it, it's always going to uh, come better. So I'm going to image this for multiple nights, not just today. And we'll see what result we get at the, at the end. I'm using the reducer, the 2.5 focal ratio with the Virtuoso. And we'll see what, what comes out of this data that I'm going to capture. The one thing I, I can tell you. <laughs> Is we're imaging at in, in, in the summer months. It's almost summer. It's really not fun. Um, as uh, first thing is the nights are very short, and mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are eating me alive out here. <laughs> I have to go inside all the time and come back, because if I stay here all the time, they eat me alive. <laughs> 